So a new file will be named as myclass.j will be created in that directory. Now you can rename that .j file as .java file and now you have your file restored back, the original source code. So decompilers help a lot whenever you have a jar file and you have lost your source code so to recover your source code. Difference between string object and string literal. This is one of the most important scenarios which every Java programmer I think might have faced. When to use string object, when to use string literal. So if you see in the example, S1 is a string literal or basically an interned string. This means that the character sequence in this example Satyarth, that this value will be stored at a central place which is nothing but a string pool which is a part of JVM only. So that whenever I in my Java program I want to use this value Satyarth, it will be reused from the string pool and hence the JVM need not want to create a new object of Satyarth. So it is basically caching of my string. While in the other case whenever you, we use a new operator it creates a new string object in the JVM. So if I compare S1 and S2 by double equals to method it gives me false because double equals to will compare both the contents and the address. So contents is the same but S1 and S2 they are pointing to different, they are different entities altogether. S1 is a literal 